happy Whip It Up Wednesday, guys. Today is slow cooker crock pot day. Uh, this is a collab that I do with Linda from Linda's Pantry, Mandy from More to Life, Lisa from Sutton's Days, and uh, Tina from over at Wilhelm's Kitchen. And every Wednesday, <laughs> at least for the month of November, we may stretch it longer because a lot of you are enjoying these videos. Uh, we do a crock pot meal every Wednesday. So, this week, I am doing slow cooker balsamic shredded beef. I'm super excited about this. Um, it looks fantastic. Uh, today, later on today, I have a doctor's appointment that I have to go to. So uh, it's kind of a bad day between homeschooling and um, my doctor's appointment to really be able to cook a meal because my doctor's appointment's not until 3.30. It's usually not until 4 or 4.30 by the time I get in sometimes, depending if he's delivering babies. And um, so I probably won't be home until 5, 5.30 is what I'm estimating. So it'll be really nice to come home and dinner will already be ready and um, all I have to do is serve it up. So let's get started we are first going to be setting our crock pot i have mine on high um let's see i kind of put this off a little bit cooking this it's around noon so i could actually put it on uh six hours mine has a four hour or six hour um uh option on here i also have a uh eight hour and a ten hour option um but i'm gonna have i'm gonna set it for four hours i think that's gonna be good and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start adding all of our yumminess inside. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the juice that this uh, roast is going to be sitting in. And just to let you know right off the bat, I'm gonna show you the roast I'm going to be using. Just so you know what I am using, I am using a Choice Beef a Chuck Pot Roast. Uh, this was a I know it's expensive. I actually was buy one, get one free at Kroger. So um, I actually got two for the price of about $22, you know, making it around $11 each. So not too bad. So this is what I'm using. Uh, mine happens to be 3.7 pounds. Uh, this recipe calls for any uh, pot roast between three and five pounds. So just so you have kind of a a guide on that all right so let's get this baby filled all right guys so the first thing we need is one cup of beef broth and I don't have any canned yet I need to can some um, and I don't want to use onion broth for this just because I think the beef is a major part of this so I'm just gonna go ahead and make some beef broth so I'm gonna add about uh, what's the, about a, probably a I don't know a tablespoon of beef uh, base and I am just going to use my Keurig because I love my Keurig for all of this stuff. So it's supposed to be one cup. So we're going to go ahead and just fill this up with water and kind of stir this um, beef base in here. And that's what I'm going to use. But if you have beef broth, especially home canned, the better. So you're going to need one cup of that. So in goes our beef broth. Then to this, what I'm going to add is a half a cup of brown sugar. So let me get my little salt pepper here. And I have some homemade brown sugar here. Um, I will leave a link and an I card up above to how I make my homemade brown sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add that right into my crock. Put my brown sugar bear back. Okay guys, so we also need a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. I am using Delalo made in Italy brand of balsamic. And so let's get this into our measuring cup here. Now it's just a quarter cup. There we go. Okay, so let's get that poured into here. Now to this, we are also adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using Kikoman soy sauce here. So one tablespoon. There we go. Okay, it also calls for one teaspoon of kosher salt. So I keep my kosher salt in a big old canning jar like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one teaspoon of 
kosher salt. Okay, it also calls for a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I'm probably going to add an eighth of a teaspoon just because I'm feeding Littles and they don't like anything too spicy. But the recipe does call for a quarter teaspoon. Now it does call for three cloves of garlic. I am using minced garlic out of a jar. So I am going to add three teaspoons. Just because I love this stuff so much and I just kind of have to make this recipe a little bit of my own, I have to add some Worcester, so Worcester sauce. <laughs> Say that fast three times. Worcester char 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 sauce. There you go. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of that. Because I just love the stuff. I love the taste. And anything with beef, I just am, I feel compelled to just add a splash of it. So I added a tablespoon. You don't have to if you don't want to. All right, let's get this whisk up. Okay, so with the whisk. Now my, um, my crock pot is already on high, so it's already warming up. So this sugar should dissolve easily in this sauce for me. I don't know. I kind of want to add, I kind of want to add a little bit of dehydrated honey into this. Just a, just a tad, just a tad. I gotta, I gotta whoop this up my way. Oh, you do not have to add this if you don't want to. I am going to add, let me get this new package open here. I'm gonna add, well, let's just do a teaspoon. Let's just do a teaspoon. Just to add a little bit more onion flavor in this. And that is um, dehydrated uh, minced onion. Yeah. Now mama is happy. Never be afraid to tweak a recipe. Just remember how you tweaked it because if you end up loving it, <laughs> you want to be able to remember how you did it. Sometimes I forget. All right, so there we have it. So that is it, guys. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up our roast here. Now, you could sear this if you wanted to. I was in two minds whether or not I wanted it seared or not, but the recipe does not call for it, so I'm just not gonna do it this time. If I find, um, you know, after we try this, if I wanna try searing it, maybe I'll try it next time, but just for the sake of this recipe, I am just going to lay my roast right down in there just like that. And that is it. It doesn't call for any black pepper or anything like that. Even though, <laughs> my mind, I want to add some, but <sighs> we're going to leave it as is. We're going to leave it as is. All right, so this is it, guys. That easy. I'm going to put the lid on with my clean hand. I'm going to go wash the blood off of my other one. And uh, that's it set it and forget it and then we will be back in uh probably six hours or so to uh see how this turns out i was going to do a crock pot of roasted um not roasted mashed potatoes next to it but i'm out of mashed potatoes so or out of potatoes so i'm just gonna make instant mashed potatoes which you know what just adds to the ease of the whole crock pot meal um it'll be nice and easy so i'm gonna make uh garlic mashed potatoes to go with this and um and I think I'm going to serve it with asparagus because it just sounds really good. Home canned asparagus. So, all right, guys. I will see you back here in uh, six hours. All right, guys. So, just came home from the doctor. I think it's about five o'clock. So, this has been cooking for about five hours. It smells amazing in my house when I walked in. It is. And Eric has been trying to sniff through the crock pot. Right, Eric? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at at that oh yeah look at that now i'm going to this just needs to be 
shredded. I'm going to take a little bit of this fat off. But now it's just a matter of it. I hope you guys are seeing that. Let's see if I can get you in here and a little closer. There we go. All right, so let me roll up my sleeves here. And now you just want to pull it apart and shred it. All right, so I went ahead and I removed a lot of the fat. Little pieces in here, but not bad, not bad. And we're going to have Matt give this a try. And what do they call this again? This is balsamic shredded beef. And so we're gonna focus it right there. So, ready? Mmm. Good? Yeah. Is that really good? All right, let me take the clean fork here. Let me taste it. Mm. You like? Yeah, it's got that little, it's got that sweetness of that balsamic. Mm. There we go. It's got a real, the stock is nice, it's got a nice earthy, beefy flavor mm. with that little sweetness. <laughs> Isn't that good? It's like almost mm. rich. It's rich, it definitely has a sweetness. That is really good. Now, I'm going to let this just continue to cook on high. Now, if you're going to do it slow, if you're going to do it slow and low, say you're going to work and you want to just cook this while you're gone, seven to eight hours on low, it's four to six hours on high. So this has been going about five hours. I'm going to let it keep going here. And in a little bit, I'm going to start some garlic mashed potatoes and I'm going to serve this with asparagus and it's going to be amazing. Or maybe green beans. Green beans would be good with this too. But wow, guys, that tastes amazing amazing so i'm gonna serve this up matt's plate so he can taste test it for you and this just smells amazing i'm gonna go ahead and turn it off now look at that look at that Mm. All right, let me get it on a plate here. That's slap your mama good. Okay, so this is being served with garlic mashed potatoes made with a bit of cream cheese in it to make it creamier. That is French style green beans because I still have so many of them. I want to use some of them up. And then this is um, uh, three sweet Vidalia onions one sweet red onion and um, mushrooms that I sauteed in garlic butter. So, all right, there we go. I'm gonna put some of this beef on here like that. And then, oh, I don't make a mess. I wanna add some juice on this potato for Matt here. Now that's some serious. Hold on, hold on. Oh. <laughs> All right. So we have it. Clean up your plate a little bit. Okay. Guys, take a good look at that. Just ridiculous. <laughs> All right, Matt's gonna take it I'm to out. the table. It's over. <laughs> I'm taking it. Taste testing for us. Anymore. All right, hold on, hold okay, on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> go ahead and try that, honey. It's a hungry man's meal right here. <laughs> I really like that sweetness from the balsamic. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a dance. I'm getting a happy hubby dance. Happy hubby dance. <laughs> so, uh, the garlic mash are really good. And actually, that sweetness of the beef kind of gives it a nice little balance. Get that nice tangy garlic and that sweet beef. It's not too sweet, but 
it's still really rich and beefy, but it's got that nice sweetness that comes from that balsamic. And then, of course, I mean, there's mushrooms and onions. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a little bit of also that sauteed in uh, garlic butter. All right. So a little mushroom onion saute for the beef and the potatoes. <laughs> it's a winner. This recipe's a winner. Man. You want me to do this one Fantastic. again? Fantastic. Uh, would you, do you yeah. like this one better or the marsala chicken? Oh, That's no. hard, isn't it? Isn't that hard? It's hard. We're talking about because I even two really different like types this. of protein here. We got the <laughs> delicious marsala beef with the sweetness, and then we got that delicious marsala sauce, the wine sauce with the chicken. I mean, they're both fantastic. I, you can't really put one against the other. We're talking the beef and chicken is apples and oranges, but they're just two fantastic dishes. But you want both of these back on the uh, back on the meal plan in the future? <laughs> okay. Yeah, to do to get back on the meal plan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it. This is a winner. Mm. All right, let me get this served up to the kitties and. Um, Everybody else can, needs to get digging into this. Yeah, I will leave the link down below to the recipe that I used. Um, I did tweak it a little bit, as you guys know. Uh, I just had to make it Heather-ish. <laughs> I had to Heatherize it. <laughs> but if you give this a try, guys, let me know. I want to know what you think. So, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave. It's making me tingle. <laughs> make sure that if you participate <laughs> in Whip It Up Wednesday, <laughs> leave it you leave the link to your video down below so i can add you to our playlist don't forget to check out linda mandy's lisa's and tina's videos as well because they're all going to be putting videos up in the morning for you or this morning for you uh, so make sure you check out their links i'll have an i card to each of their channels up in the corner and as always guys <laughs> enjoy and i will be seeing you soon and i will definitely be seeing you next week for another whip it up wednesday all right bye guys